Okay. You was really yesterday. Wherever in I... this world I roam, I carry memories of my home. But I haven't started going there yet. Uh, one thing that I noticed is that apparently there are no roads going to Sumeru. This kind of looks like a path, but they added this one, this new one here. So maybe I'll. And here's the question mark. Question. Okay. So maybe I am supposed to climb through the chasm. How were people from Sumeru coming here before? The chasm was open. Come on. Why is it so long? Usually, it's usually faster. Uh, it's down there. Uh, but where is the... Uh, uh, is there a path around there now? Ah, it's here. I follow the wind. It's through the mines. Um, okay, it's better than climbing, but kind of makes no sense for this to be the way to Sumeru. Um, oh yeah, um, rolling today, I got the new guy. But I still haven't had time uh -huh. to even test him, and I don't have many. Huh? Uh, maybe I'll try him later, but I uh -huh. he'll suck at the moment. And I think it would be better to keep Jean Lee around for shoot. Since I don't know what I'm going to find. Oh. And so it begins. Ah, Star Show. Oh, that's a new kind of pig. Oh, it drops meat and mushrooms. Sigil. The scratch, which looks like four petal flower, will sometimes appear in some arrow. When those who can manipulate the elements are facing one such crest, they can use it to travel swiftly. Uh, any dendro or manipulate the elements, or maybe anyone. Sometimes you'll find cluster leaves of cultivation that can scatter these four leaf sigils around. Use their ability to make your adventures easy. Uh, so that's basically the uh, the closest thing to parkour we would have here or something like that. Because it would be horrible to traverse. Now that we made it to Sumeru, our next objective should be to head to Sumeru City and find a way to meet with Lesser Lord Kusanali. <laughs> And speaking of Lesser Lord Kusanali, even though we haven't heard too much about her, she doesn't seem to be the same deity who abducted your sister. But even so, people call Sumeru the Nation of Wisdom, you know. If we can get a chance to meet the God of Wisdom, maybe she can give us some useful information! Alright, sounds like a plan. But, uh, Paimon doesn't know the way to Sumeru City. 
Maybe we can climb up to that spot with the Statue of the Seven on it. That'll give us a way better view of things. Uh, yeah, maybe I better get the trailer for Even a while. if we can't see exactly where the city is, at least we'll be able to check for some smaller settlements nearby. Oh, there's Wait a Wait a second. Look! There's someone up ahead! Perfect timing! Now we can just ask for directions rather than wander around like lost adventurers. Hey there! <laughs> We're not from around here and seem to have gotten a little lost. We'd like to ask for some directions. Huh? Uh, did they not hear Paimon? Hey! You over there! Could you give us some directions? Huh? Okay, she's just rude. What's going on here? There's no way she could have missed that. <gasps> Wait! Could she be ignoring us? How dare she? No, it's probably nothing to get worked up about. Or maybe there's a reason she ignored us. Hmm. Well, even so, she might be heading someplace where we could find other people to ask. Let's keep our distance and follow her. When we get the chance, we'll just ask someone else for directions. Beasts of smoke and forest dark. Oh. Come on, let's follow her. Just keep quiet. Make sure she doesn't notice us. Stone is another man's gem. Uh, oh, yeah, I got a different seizure for it. Oh no, maybe I got it from the chest. Uh, let's get the back first. Oh, actually, let's change for the traveler because a better change is element. This world is. Hey, there's somebody there already that we could probably talk to. Uh. Hey, there's a bird here. Oh, I gotta capture that bird. Probably. The world opens itself before those with double hearts. Uh, there, we found Samara City. Do we really need to follow her? What were those? Koroks. Oh no. Did you see them? What are you talking about? I saw them. A uh, little round, plain like things, right? Gone just like that. Fungi like. Plain turn, fungi. Now uh, we should ask around when we get a chance. Uh, but he didn't get. Oh, I have to. Session 7, uh, resonate with the bro. And now, what does he do? Uh, oh. uh, I can't when I'm Something, but uh, it looks like that's not the case. Look, she's sitting over there. Wait, she couldn't possibly be living here, could she? Uh, what should we do now? Do we try asking her for directions again? Sure, let's give her another shot. All right, then. It's not like we have anyone else we can ask. 
Even turns. if she's not very friendly, we just need her to point us in the right direction. That's all. Oh. Mmm. What a lovely smell. It's coming from that sensor over there. This is definitely not your typical place to call home, but at least it smells nice. Mmm. Maybe living here wouldn't be too bad after all. Uh-oh. Huh? What's the matter? You don't look too good. It smells something's not right. Why? What? Is the smell making you feel sick? Strange. Paimon doesn't feel anything. I got to get out of here? Do I? I think I gotta pass out. Oh. Oh, there was a fit out. <laughs> oh, follow the voice. Uh, I barely arrived and he's already having a mushroom trip. Okay, I can't run. Why make me walk just that to have another good scene? <sighs> If he says that he's going to be all right, then there's absolutely nothing to worry about. Oh, are you awake now? Oh, thank goodness! Traveler, you're finally awake! Where am I? Well, we're at... Uh... Good question. Where are we? Hyman was in such a panic when you passed out that she even forgot to ask what place this is. This is Gandarverville. It was originally built by scholars from Sumeru as a place to rest in the rainforest. Now it's mainly used by the forest rangers as a base of operations. My name is Kale. I'm a trainee forest ranger. Oh. My master and I found you passed out during our patrol, so we brought you here. So you're basically this area's amber. Thank you for your help. Oh, no, no thanks are necessary. I didn't do anything really. By the way, how are you feeling now? Any discomfort? Uh, no, I seem to be fine, except the taste in my mouth. It's so bitter. Oh. <laughs> That's Master's oh. herbal medicine you're tasting. He gave you some while you were unconscious. Uh, before I forget, Master mentioned you should take more medicine once you wake up. Huh. Kale, what's the matter? Were you trying to retrieve the medicine? As I've already told you, you must be careful with these. All right, I'll get it for you once I'm finished here. Uh, sorry, 
Master? <sighs> now, the guide to Avidya Forest's edible fungi is clearly posted on our bulletin board. But if Farbode forgets which mushrooms to avoid one more time, I'll have no choice but to leave the guide somewhere a little more visible. Like right smack on his forehead so others can remind him to be careful. Right? This is the second time he's come down with food poisoning this month. I'll be sure to give him a good talking to. Yes, please do. If, on the off chance, Farbode simply enjoys having little imaginary fairies dance before his eyes, then we'll just let him be. But the next time he requires any of our medicine, be sure to charge him accordingly. So, how are you doing? Feeling better? Oh, this is my master, Forest Watcher Tainari. He is chief officer over all the rangers here in Gondarverville. I already informed Paimon about the reason you fell unconscious earlier. But now that you're awake, let me explain it for you as well. It is common practice for Sumeru scholars of certain darshans to dedicate themselves to training and meditation in isolated areas, particularly the nearby forests. While meditating, they use a certain incense known as spirit borneol to help calm their minds as they enter a state of deep rumination. In hopes of asking directions, you two followed a scholar named Hapasia into her cave. The incense you smelled inside was the spirit borneol I just mentioned. That incense typically has no effect on most people. But for a very select few, it can have profound effects on one's cognition, as you experienced firsthand. Does that make sense? Yeah, as usual, I'm special. That makes sense. Very good. Now, answer me this. Did you feel anything after passing out? Say, any out-of-body experiences? Or did you see anything while unconscious? You describe what you saw while unconscious? Hmm. Kali, let the others know to stop bringing their patrol logs here for now. Huh? Wh why I'll start on his back. Because these two will be staying here for the next few days. They can have my room and I'll bunk with Amir. Now get a move on and be sure to do as I've said. Yes, Master Tainari. Sure. Let me fill you in. I originally planned to send you on your way once you finished your medicine. However, it appears now that you should stay a while longer in Gondarvaville for further observation while you recuperate. Further observation? Well, we need to get to Summer City. No need to be hasty. As long as you have the capacity to judge between right and wrong, I promise that you'll understand the gravity of the situation once I explain everything to you. Based on what you saw after smelling the incense and losing consciousness, we can conclude that you experienced a powerful hallucination, which suggests your mental state is not in the best of shape. If you're skeptical, have a whiff of this. Seriously. Ew. Oh, are you okay? You're experiencing a similar sensation as when you passed out, aren't you? So even though your condition is stable as of now, if I were to haphazardly let you leave, it's highly likely that you'd suddenly pass out again somewhere else. The rainforest is home to many fierce animals and hazardous areas. If something were to happen to you again, I'm afraid you might not be so lucky. For now, I suggest you continue taking your medicine each day and avoid wandering off on your own. At least until you stop having adverse reactions to this kind of smell, okay? All right. Good. Now continue resting while I fire up another bowl of medicine for you. <sighs> Seriously? We just arrived in Sumeru and we're already having problems left and right! Paimon knows we're set on meeting Lesser Lord Kusanali as soon as possible, but you really don't look too good. It'd probably be best to let you recover first. 
Uh, Story-wise, they shouldn't be that long after Inazuma, right? Since they're in such a hurry. Uh I think it's, it's a little weird. What's weird? You mean how you're feeling now? Yeah, my body does feel a little weird, but what I mean is, I don't think what I saw were hallucinations. You mean the vision of tree roots and red skies you saw? But if those weren't hallucinations, what could they be? I'm not sure. When I saw the vision, it felt as if I was standing deep underground, but the red sky could have been Camia. Uh. Well, considering how unique you are, Paimon trusts your judgment here. But why didn't you say anything about it to Tainari? If he misjudged your condition, then there's a chance you could get worse, right? Uh, I don't think that's the case. He probably wasn't telling us the truth. Huh? You mean that Tainari already knows that what you saw weren't hallucinations? But if that's the case, why would he try to hide that from us? Exactly, we need to get to the bottom of this. Oh, Paimon gets it now. That explains why you were so quiet earlier. Well, that settles it then. We'll stay here to rest up and figure out what's going on with your hallucinations. But it seems like asking Tainari might not be an option anymore. <sighs> what do you think we should do? Let's start by having a chat with Kali. Good idea! Kali's pretty friendly. We can ask her tomorrow about what she knows regarding the Dendro Archon and customs in Sumeru. Uh, I don't think it was about that that we should ask you. Rise and shine! Come on, it's time to go find Kali! Uh, 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 oh, where are we? Uh. I could have gone here. Oh, there's some roads here. Uh, come on, there are people of Sumeru all around the lane, and there's no easy way in and out of there. They haven't researched roads so far. Oh, cool houses like that. Uh, if it wasn't for the forest alleviating effects of the disease, someone with Eleazar would have never been allowed to be a forest ranger. Eleazar? Uh, who are you? What are you doing here? Why are you asking about that? I'm just passing by, right? This is Kadarva, that's what they said. But Kadarva view. If you can rest here, if you're tired. If you don't want to be educated by the Force Watchers, then take a look at the stuff on the North, North board. Forgive me for being unable to say more. Oh. Oh, that's the guy that got sick. I pick Mukas Shava. Mushrooms every day. My waist is sore and my back aches. Uh, and I'm only in my 20s. Some stuff. No kidding. Big mushroom requires endless money now. Uh, it gets real horrible after a while. I mean, I suppose you could use a stick or something to get them from the ground. Luckily, the academy requires a huge supply of. Kukashava mushrooms, so I get a steady job from this. My current goal is to save some Mora, buy a house in the city and live there. Oh, about Kukashava mushrooms. Kukashava mushrooms are great stuff. Uh, you know by the name that they must be something amazing left by the great lord Devata. I think uh, they can serve as cooking ingredients, herbs, well... Maybe fertilizer? Well, I'm not sure since the Akasha didn't tell me all its uses. But I guess it, I didn't need to know. As long as the academy needs it, 
I can always make money from it. The only thing I don't know is that it's a great ingredient for cooking. Here's some for you. Take a try. Oh, they look like that. So barrel rose. Our recent catch was great. We definitely have enough for a grand feast this time. Uh, let's stop shooting. It's right here. Ashpazi. Even an idiot can cook awesome food with this fresh meat. Oh, I can buy stuff. Right? Let's have something different from elsewhere. Uh, oh, the spice and stuff, but he doesn't have the recipe for those. Uh, you can cook. Uh, what kind of question is this? Don't look down on my culinary expertise just because I'm wearing a forest watcher city farm. I'm the renowned master chef of the forest rangers. Ah, uh, alright, alright, that's enough jokes for now. Still, even if I'm not truly renowned, my culinary skill is pretty extraordinary. Everyone praises it once they try it. I don't believe it. You got a problem with me, Paul. Uh, uh, but you don't look anything like an unreasonable oaf. Oh, I get it. You are using reverse psychology to get a free meal out of me. That's okay. I don't mind falling for any tricks when it comes to sharing food. I have only one request. Just spread the good word about my food if you like it. Okay, I didn't have to buy that. Are you can hunt? Of course, where do you think the meat I sell comes from? Did you think stupid boars rush at me and ram their heads against my arrows? <laughs> uh, that's enough jokes. After being with Mr. Tainari for so long, uh, even the way he speaks has rubbed off of me. I oversee logistics for the Force Rangers, so knowing how to hunt and cook is perfectly normal, right? In my opinion, the first step to being a good chef is to be a good hunter. Oh. What is this here? Uh, there's somebody down there as well. It's my first time hearing your footsteps. Oh, you recognize people by footsteps. Sorry, but I'm blind, so I can't be of any help to you. Still, my hearing is very good. Hello. Oh, hello. Travelers, merchants, and adventurers frequent. Gadarva vile, but your footsteps are more agile than theirs. You must be a lively and lovable youngster. That's a good thing, a very rare, a very rare to come by in Sumeru right now. The young traveler made a greater large watch over you. Uh, has something happened in Sumeru? Not at all, it's peaceful as always. It's just me, a blind old man worrying about nothing. Uh, the use of Akasha has been growing in popularity while fewer dust birds are flying out of Super City. I can only hope that this is a sign of progress. I thought there was another option. Hello? Uh, about the Greater Lord? The Greater Lord may be God, but the people of Sumeru will never forget the blessings she bestowed upon us. Youngster, I'm sure you know that every blade of grass and leaf in this land is a blessing from the Great Lord. Human life is too short. Uh, will I be alive to see the Dator Archon bring Sumeru back to its former glory? Uh, what's wrong with Alright, next let's see your right hand. Hmm, yes, not bad. But please remember that you still need to be careful, understand? <sighs> yes, I will. By the way, Master, I still haven't received the patrol route for today. Look, Kale, today's patrol will be a long one, so you won't be coming along this time. Besides, there's a chance we may encounter... Well, you understand. But I have a vision too! <sighs> Am I useless to everyone now? Don't talk like that, Kale. 
This is not something you need to be worrying about right now. Ah, there you are. Feeling any better? Uh, is there something we can help with? Yeah! Since we'll be staying here for now, we thought we might as well try lending a hand around here. <laughs> Seems you're not the type to sit back and take it easy for a while, huh? In that case, perhaps Kale could take you two for a patrol south of Gundarvaville for the day. And if you're feeling up to it, you can be responsible for cleaning the Statue of the Seven. Oh. Tenari, we're ready to head out. Roger, I'll be right there. All right, we'll be heading into the forest now. I'll leave any further details to Kale. Yes, you can count on me. So, Kale, what exactly are we going to be doing today? Tanari mentioned cleaning the statue just now, but, uh, that doesn't really sound like the job for a ranger. Well, a forest ranger's responsibilities can be pretty diverse. They handle a variety of tasks, like checking the condition of outlying roads, maintaining forest facilities, ensuring fire prevention standards are met, and providing assistance to travelers and locals. As for Master, well, he has to handle more dangerous areas of the rainforest. Today we can perform routine checks on the pathway lamps as we make our way to the Statue of the Seven. Paimon, traveler, this way! You can leave the task of checking the lamps to me. In the meantime, you two can keep an eye out for anything unusual. Uh, let's check this guy. Oh, let's make sure. Uh, taking the path through the chasm to Sumeru was a bad idea. I thought it was a shortcut, but a nobody like me couldn't get through those blockades. So I had to go all the way around instead. Uh, that really exhausted me. Yeah, it sounds like he was a bad idea. Don't remind me. It's too late now. It's my fault for heading to Liyue after leaving Mondstadt and then going straight to Sumeru. I wasn't able to plan my route properly. I should have gone to Fontaine first. So Fontaine is close as well. Uh, Fontaine is probably north of Sumeru. Luckily, I finally arrived at civilization, so let me rest here for a while. Wise choice. Thanks for the approval. Gives me confidence in my own decision. It does look pretty safe with so many first rangers here. A young girl with green hair tried to, tried to say something to me when she heard that I am on stutter, but she didn't say anything in the end. Uh, what was up with that? I was too, try, too tired to bother asking for details. I'll ask about it should I meet her again. What was she trying to say? Okay, the other option. Do you plan to continue? Uh, of course, but give me a while to rest up. Since I'm already here, I have to pay a visit to Super City. The locals told me that I should attend the festivals held there if I can. For example, there's something called the Sabzerus Festival, which celebrates the birthday of Lesser, Lesser Lord Kusanali. But when I ask if Lesser Lord Kuzanali is also called the Goddess of Flow, the Goddess of Flowers, they shook their heads. They said the Goddess of Flowers and the Dendro Archon are the same god. Uh, it seems that Greater Lord and Lesser Lord Kuzanali are the same god either. I don't understand. Then why is Lesser, lesser God Kuzanali's birthday called Sabzerus Festival? That's just being up to us. I, I don't know what that word means. Uh, every lord could have a festival on their birthdays. Hey, what's that? Nothing wrong with these two lamps. Let's move to the next ones. Those are lamps. Then we are in Korok Falls. It's like a bull and a dog, but not a bulldog. Uh, a kind of our idol as well. Uh, 
the city above the forest at its archive. Oh, hang on, let me check the map. Uh, uh, okay, this part, so here's Fontaine. You'll probably get connected to this body of water. Uh, I suppose this pathway will lead there as well. And this body of water. Fontaine is the hydro park, isn't it? Oh, this lamp seems to be getting a little wobbly. Let me make a note of it. Hmm, no problems with this lamp. Good. Hello, there's a house here. It should be a uh, ugly here, uh, but I won't be able to just pass through here, will I? Uh, but I guess I can't burn it. is up on top of that large rock formation. You must have seen it when you came down this road before. Yeah. It's pretty high up there, isn't it? Don't worry. If you're afraid you can't make it up there, I'm sure Master wouldn't mind if you don't clean the statue. No, it's worry. I'm a terrific climber. Oh? I guess I'll leave it up to you then. There's not much footing once you reach the statue, so be careful up there. Yeah, that, that doesn't say something he should say to me too, after saying... I mean, kept here because I could pass out at any moment. I'm gonna fly up with you and help you with those hard to reach areas. Um, by the way, Kale, do you know anything about the Dendro Archon? You know, what's she like? Uh, that depends. Are you referring to Greater Lord Rukudavata or Lesser Lord Kusanali? Uh, the Archon. Apparently, the Archon is just one, isn't it? Greater Lord Ruka Devata. Ruka Devata. Oh, is that the name of the former Dendro Archon? Uh huh. Greater Lord Ruka Devata was Sumeru's first Dendro Archon. She created the rainforest as well as the Wall of Samiel around the desert. Her oh. works provided a means of peaceful living for everyone. So there's a wall separating the desert. To the people of Sumeru, she's not only a symbol of wisdom, but also of power and kindness. Unfortunately, she disappeared in a great calamity that occurred a few hundred years ago. Uh, disappeared? It's not that. Oh. That's exactly what happened. Like what happened to Riley Makoto. But Riley Makoto, uh, A saw her body, didn't she? Does it coincide with Korea? According to what Masters told me, the sages later found the newly born Dendro Archon and whisked her back to Sumeru. Uh, newly born? To celebrate the reinstatement of their lost deity, the sages dubbed her Lesser Lord Kusanali and let her reside in the sanctuary of Sarasana. Uh-huh. Then what happened? Well, and then... Uh, uh... I'm not too sure what happened, to be honest. Huh? You're not too sure? But aren't you from Sumeru? Yeah, I'm from Sumeru. Uh... But... Maybe it's difficult to discuss this topic with strangers. If that's the case, then don't worry, we understand. No, no, it's not that. I'm not trying to hide something from you. Besides, I don't consider you two strangers. 
Come on, Pyro is quite strange. A anyway, y you two know Amber, right? What? So you really are Amber? Wait, Probably. Amber? You mean... Amber of Rider of the Dance of Avodius. Yes, that's her. I once lived in Mondstadt for a while, and she helped me a lot during that time. You could even say that she helped me become a new person. There's no one like Amber. She lives life to the fullest while always adhering to her strong sense of justice. She's ready to answer the call for action at any moment, but is also very understanding of others. She's like the spark that lights the fire in everyone's heart around her. If you ask me, she's a prime example of a true outrider. She's the first person anyone coming to Mondstadt will meet. You can't help but be enthralled by her charm and enthusiasm, causing you to fall in love with the lands of Mondstadt and... Ah, uh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, well, I've never seen set of you. Come on, we just met her. Uh, Obviously, we never saw. I thought the work of Outriders was a little different from what you just described, but to one thing's for sure, you really like Amber. Uh, <laughs> sorry. I was rambling on just now. It must have sounded kind of weird. <laughs> it's alright, Kale. Knowing that you're a friend of Amber somehow makes Paimon suddenly feel a lot closer to you. So, how do you know that we've met Amber? Well, after I returned to Sumeru, Amber and I have stayed in touch by writing each other letters. In one letter, she mentioned that Mondstadt was attacked by a fearsome dragon, but the city was saved by a mysterious blonde traveler and their floating companion. Uh, I've never seen... Bayo. Uh... Yeah, there, there are no delivery people around here. Uh, just... Draft... Is Draft his name? Birds deliver every letter around the world. I knew you two were the one she mentioned in the letter the moment I saw you. But, uh, considering everything you've been through that day, I thought it'd be inappropriate to bring it up. Ah, so that's how you knew. Yep, so please know that you two have my complete trust, really. I wish I could tell you more about the Dendro Archon, but I have been away from Sumeru for some time, and I haven't read any books. Sorry. That's all right. You've already helped us a lot. We had never even heard of Greater Lord Ruka Devata or the Sanctuary of Surastana until you mentioned them. You mentioned the Sanctuary Surastana. Oh, I'm happy that was helpful. There is one thing I want to ask, though. Why do you two want to know about the Dendro Archon? Explain the purpose of your journey to Kale. Hmm. So that's why you're here. Thank you for telling me your story. Don't mention it. We are friends after all, right? I was right, we're friends. <laughs> all right, we have a statue to clean. You both have my thanks. While well, you two are up there cleaning, I'll go ahead and inspect the forest canopy. Let's meet back here shortly. Uh, I'm not a very good climber, so I'll just let you handle the statue. Well, leaving your place I'll go check the facilities up ahead. Trees. By the way, once we're done with our work here, would you like to chat some more? Be a ranger, leave your place with such large trees. That's a big uh, Climber, at least a decent climber, would be kind of a priority. Uh, huh. I don't have to. Now that Paimon looks at it, the deity that's carved on the statue is kind of small. Uh, where were those statues built? Did they demolish every statue of the previous deity to make those? Do you think she's supposed to be Greater Lord Ruka Devata or Lesser Lord Kusanali? Lesser, she's younger, smaller. The name does seem to fit the statue somehow. Hmm. Well, anyway.
anyway, we'll have to figure that out later. Let's get started on cleaning the statue. Paimon will fly up and take care of the top and you clean everything below. <coughs> nice work. That's one clean statue. Let's head down and meet up with Kale. Okay, you are sorry. Uh... Time to go. After all that climbing, let's take a little break. I brought some fruit and water for us. Yay, food! What kind of goodies did you bring? Bibles, restraint, please. Hey, don't be a party pooper. It's not like Kale is a stranger or anything. Besides, the best way to compliment a chef is to show passion for their food. Xiang Ling taught Paimon that. I prepared a nice portable dish that forest rangers like to eat called Pita Pockets. I hope you'll like them. Oh. Uh, wh whoops! Oh, that's why she's not a good climber. Ah, no! You dropped it on the ground! She probably would drop herself. Not to worry. I wrapped a few layers of oiled paper around each pita. They should be fine. Why oiled paper? Won't this make our hands oily when we grab it the food? Oh, Paima nearly had a heart attack there. We enjoy the pitas together with Kale. Those pitas are amazing! You're quite the cook, Kale. Thank goodness you wrapped them in paper. Paima wouldn't have been able to sleep at night knowing something so tasty had been wasted. <laughs> You really know how to compliment the chef, Paimon. Since you liked it so much, I'll be sure to give you a copy of the recipe sometime. Mm. I'll even include all my personal cooking pointers, so you'll be making your own pita pockets in no time. Yay! Thanks, Kale! It's hard to believe someone as diligent as you could have clumsy moments, too. Oh, <laughs> uh, I guess it happens from time to time. So... Don't you think that Tainari is a little too strict with you? He won't let you touch anything without his permission. I wouldn't either. Paimon knocks stuff over all the time flying around the Traveler, but he's never said anything. Everyone has their clumsy moments. No, no, you've got the wrong idea about Master. Uh, <laughs> sure, he may seem a bit harsh at first, but with some time, you'll see that he's actually very kind-hearted. I've heard the veteran rangers say that Master is from some ancient and mysterious race that is known for their cunning wit and reclusive nature. Well, he does have a dubious ears. Oh, by the way, you've heard of the Academia, right? Well, there's a group called... Uh... Um... Um... Uh... Um... Uh, uh, something? <laughs> well, anyway, because Master does a lot of research on plants, Sages from the Academia have written him many times, inviting him to take up an official position there. But Master declines their offers every time, saying, Sumeru City is too noisy. It'd be bad for my ears. That does sound so, so, like Dagdaru say. We, we barely know the guy. Speak of ears, I like to pet them. <laughs> I know, right? I've always wanted to pet them, too. <laughs> <laughs> uh... <clears throat> Anyway, Master could have easily left the rainforest to take up a position at the Academia, but he chose to stay here instead as a forest watcher, helping the locals every day and passing on his knowledge to trainees. In fact, Master's the one who taught me how to make pita pockets. Really? Paima would have never guessed that. Oh, speaking of Tainari, he was the one who took care of you after finding you passed out yesterday. He even carried you all the way here. Paimon's still kind of upset, though. He kept scolding Paimon the entire way here. What did you do? Oh, no. I'm sorry. Master might have been overreacting a little. But, uh, it's mostly because Paimon wouldn't stop yelling, Why, oh, why? Is he going to die? It probably started to get under Master's skin after a while. Hey! <laughs> Don't laugh! Paimon was genuinely concerned about you. <laughs> hey! Now even Kali's starting to laugh. Ugh, that's it! Paimon won't forget this! It's time for some Paimonial wrath! No! Don't touch me!
Uh, what's the matter? Oh, sorry, Kale. Paimon didn't mean to scare you. Uh, no, I, I just... I... I didn't mean that. Kale, are you okay? What's the matter? Noah, I'm... <laughs> I'm fine. I'm sorry. I must have startled you both reacting like that. Oh, well, it's getting late now. Uh, let's hurry back to Gundarverville. I think Master and the others should be back by now, too. Huh? What was up with Kai just now? And why is she in such a hurry all of a sudden? Look, she's practically running back. Paimon can't even see her now. I'll run you back. How far would she go? Oh, well, she'll probably rise all the way there and then. Uh, maybe she would continue going. No, but. It's taking too long. Ah, traveler, you've returned. Yep, we're back. Uh, have you seen Kale by any chance? Oh, Kale? Yes, I saw her go into her room just a moment ago. Oh, okay. Guess we'll just have to wait and talk to her tomorrow then. Stay here. What about this person here? Is she wearing something on top of her ear, on top of her hair? Uh, it's been so long since I took some fresh clean air. Hello, hello. The environment here is pretty great, right? Many may say that the air here is too humid, but it's perfect for me. You must understand that traveling through the desert is torture. Uh, if it wasn't for business, I would anyone want to go? Would anyone want to go to a lane of to lay a foot on that arco forsaken place? But the desert, I'm sure you can imagine it without my help. An endless expanse of sand, the scorching sun. Wind mixed with dirt. Not to mention the dangers that the sand stars pose, and the ruins filled with strange mechanisms. According to some legends, there used to be no desert in Somero, and it was the battle between the Scarlet Queen King and the Great Lord that created the desert. Uh, I thought maybe the desert was all around, and then the Great Lord created it. Greenery. Uh, but I don't really care how the desert was formed. I'm more interested in when I'll go, it'll go away. That's way we travel merchants will be able to do business more safely after all. Big dream. Uh, I haven't been able to dream ever since I grew up. But still, one should dream big. Good luck will follow only if you dream big. Maybe one day, the Scarlet King or Greater Large Luca de Vata will come back again. Either will do. Upon the return, there will be no desert, no pain, no Samuel control engineers, no big Marston's doctors. Uh, just saying this cracks me up. Uh, Ah, <laughs> oh, I have to wait. Stroll in the middle of a downpour certainly rouses the spirit. Hey! But it's best to dry your clothes as soon as possible after the rain stops. Uh, uh, uh. Wait till 8 a.m.
Hey, what's that? Is that upside down pyramid on the air? She clearly doesn't like to be touched. And Paimon was too close. Ah, it's you two. I was just about to go look for you. Huh? Tainari? What are you doing here? Where's Kale? I came to check on Kale's condition. To put it simply, she's not well. You mean she's sick? How could she be... Oh, wait a minute. Could it be because of what Paimon did yesterday? No, no need to worry. <laughs> something as small as you could never harm her. Uh, this sickness is something that Kale has been dealing with for some time. Kale has been more excited than usual since you two arrived. A little too much so, to be honest. She hasn't remembered to take care of herself. <sighs> I suppose it's understandable, though. She hasn't been around anyone she considered a friend for some time now. It must have been refreshing for her to have you two here. So, you're not her friend? So, Tainari, what's really wrong with Kale? Um, let's take this conversation elsewhere. Kale just fell asleep after taking her medicine. She needs some peace and quiet. Oh. Two of the three people with Daedro we know so far are herbalists. Shh! <coughs> Kali's asleep! Let's come back once she's feeling better. I'm glad I'm using uh, a Kazuha for a while now because I think this is the fourth time in two weeks maybe that I fall on a place like that. All right, let's continue our conversation here, shall we? And I wouldn't be able to get out if I didn't have that attack. To be honest, I hadn't realized that you're that honorary knight from Mondstadt until Kale told me just now. I've also heard all about your deeds in Liyue and Inazuma. So, just to clarify, what I'm about to tell you about Kale is not because of who you are or your past feats. Instead, I am going to tell you because... Well, because Kale asked me to. And honestly speaking, I was against Kale revealing her past to you. But she insisted, saying you two treated her with sincerity and as a friend. So now she wishes to reciprocate the gesture. So, Tainari, what exactly is wrong with Kale? You said this is something she's been dealing with for some time. Just how serious is it? Right. Ever since she was a child, she's been afflicted with a disease called Elazar. Elazar? Yes. It's a disease unique to the lands of Sumeru. It is characterized by dark and hardened scales that form on the body. Uh. At first, the afflicted may only feel mild numbness on the affected area of the skin. However, as the disease progresses, one may begin feeling fatigued and even experience peripheral paresthesia. In its final stages, the disease strips a person of the ability to control their own body, and they effectively become completely immobile. Uh, I'm sure we'll find some place with some people like that, like statues. That sounds terrifying. They will lose all control over their body. Wait, hold on. So when Kale seemed to be acting a little clumsy earlier, it was because... Correct. That would be the effects of Elazar, which is precisely why I do not want her carrying or holding anything, lest she ends up hurting herself. So is there any cure for Elazar? With appropriate treatment, the disease can be effectively controlled before it progresses to a more serious stage. However, 
There is unfortunately still no true cure for Elazar. Nevertheless, Kale's mother still hoped that there was something out there. She handed Kale over to an organization known as the Fatui oh. after one of their members lied and said they had a cure. What? The Fatui? Ah, it appears you are already familiar with them. That'll save me some explanation. Anyway, the person who eventually rescued Kale and brought her to me for care said that she had been given to a harbinger known as the Doctor. Oh, I don't know this one. I have no idea how this doctor managed to do it, but her case of Elazar was completely stable for all the years that Kale was with them. Uh, so they do have something. However, Kale's days with the Fatui were anything but pleasant. Kale is a resilient individual and always tries to appear cheerful, but her experience with the Fatui has left deep scars. Even now, she can still feel deathly afraid of someone touching her. Oh, Paimon had no idea Kale's been through so much suffering. Oh, by the way, Paimon, Kale wanted me to tell you that she's sorry for scaring you yesterday. She also wanted both of you to know that she's sorry for hiding her illness. She doesn't need to apologize. None of this is her fault at all. Well said. I hope you'll get a chance to tell her that in person the next time you see her. Kale once thought that it would be impossible for her to have any real friendships. I trust that you two will never let my trainee experience such emotional pain again. Don't worry, Tainari. We'll take good care of her. As always, people trust us way too easy. Well, it's not too serious at this point. She overexerted herself the last couple of days, which is what led to her breakdown this time. As long as she has taken her medicine and gets plenty of rest, she should get better. Though, I must admit that Kale's condition was much more stable when she first arrived here in Gundarvaville. She was interested in the work of the forest rangers the moment she saw us. I could see that she was serious about learning, so I felt compelled to ask her to join us. Her stamina has gotten much worse recently. Though a moderate amount of physical exercise is always necessary, I'm afraid the long-distance patrols are a little too much for her now. <sighs> All right. Now that I've told you about Kale's past, I think I'll head into the rainforest to find some ingredients needed for her medicine. I'll see you two later. Wait, can we come along? Yeah, we'd like to do something to help Kale too. All right, but I must warn you two. The rainforest is a dangerous place, especially for someone who's still recovering like the Traveler. You must follow closely and listen to every instruction. No problemo! Let's go then. We'll be looking for a plant known as Lunar Lotus. It's often used to help those afflicted with Elazar recover their energy. Hey, Tainari? Where exactly are we going to find this plant? Lunar Lotus can be found all over the rainforest, but it often grows right here around Gundarvaville. Hmm. Given the name, it sounds like we should be looking for it in the water. You are correct. Lunar Lotus grows in the water. When fully matured, they look like giant blue flowers floating on the water's surface. Quite an attractive species, if you ask me. The large petals are actually the plant's leaves and sepals, which surround a very small flower. You should note that many of the plants found in Sumeru have names that are contrary to their species. Take the Kalpalata, for example. The plant is not a lotus at all, but rather a vine. And then there's the Sumeru rose, which is not a rose, completely contrary to its name. Never bring up the topic of flowers with kindness. Tip. Wind strider. Time to go. There should be lunar lotuses growing somewhere in this area. Let's split up and begin searching. If you could manage to gather four of them, that would be sufficient. I think I see them. 
We'll rendezvous here once you've gathered the needed amount. Let me take a look. Hmm. Good, very good. These are all excellent quality. I'm quite glad you two came along. Your exploration experience helped save me a lot of time here. It seems we even have enough time to stock up on some other things I need. Hey, Tainari! Baby thoughts? Oh, Tainari! Someone's calling your name! They're dressed like a forest ranger. Ah, yes, that's Amir and the others. Didn't they just set off not too long ago? What are, let's go find out what's going on. Time to go. Tainari, thank goodness we found you here. We were just about to head back and find you at Gandarvaville. What's going on? We just discovered a withering zone. What's that? The withering is back? But the patrol route you were on should have been already clear just a week ago. But it reappeared so quickly. Can you tell me the exact location? It's up ahead, deep in the river valley. It's appeared in a spot that blocks nearly the entire narrow part of the valley area, so we decided to come find you as quickly as possible. And the radius of the contamination? Sorry, I couldn't get a clear enough view to tell. No one in our patrol team had a vision, and it appeared to still be spreading, so we didn't risk getting any closer. Okay, I understand. You made the right decision. I'll go deal with it right away. In the meantime, please guide these two back to Gondarvaville. Oh, okay, Wait, Tainari, why don't you let us help you? You two have only just arrived in Sumeru. You're still unfamiliar with many things in these lands. There's a unique type of anomaly that occurs in the Sumeru rainforest. It's called the withering. The affected areas not only cause nearby vegetation to wither, but it's also lethal to wildlife and even people. If you mm. don't carry a vision, then you should think twice before approaching such places. Yes, Amir is absolutely right. I wasn't kidding when I said the rainforest is a dangerous place. As Amir said, only someone with a vision, that is, the power to manipulate elements, will be able to resist the withering's corrosive effects for a time. That's right. If any of the forest rangers without a vision come across a withering zone, we first make a record of the location and then have a ranger with the proper abilities deal with it, like Tainari here. Only someone with a vision can venture within a withering zone and find a way to deal with it. Yeah, okay, just like those guys are just... NPCs. Uh, I might be able to help this. I can also control the elements. But you don't seem to carry a vision. He may not have a vision, but he's a real pro at using the power of the elements. Hmm. It seems the rumors about you are true. In that case, all right, you two may accompany me. We typically only teach visitors how to identify the withering as they're about to leave Gundarvaville. We'll make an exception today and show you what it looks like up close. Time to go. <laughs> Stop. Don't move any further. Look there in the distance. Huh? Where? Oh, look! Those plants have withered! That whole area is kind of gloomy. Even the air looks like it's filled with ash. Oh, Paimon doesn't like the look of this. That is the withering. All right, Traveler. 
We're going to have to enter that withering zone. Once inside, we'll need to look for what we call Tumors of the Withering. If we eliminate those, then the area will be saved. Gotcha. Let's do Thank this. you. But I must warn you. Don't push yourself. This is your first time handling this sort of thing, after all. Even with elemental powers, once you step inside the withering zone, you may experience extreme discomfort. If at any point it becomes too much, return outside of the zone and take a breather. It could become a matter of life and death. You ready then? Let's go. First, we must locate any branches sustaining the withering zone. Double Dendro Ground. Uh, uh, these three spirits that accompany the appearance of auspicious branches are Dendro Ground that symbolize the protection of Dendro. Uh, when you charge attacks, and aim shots hit, the Dendrograda will attack alongside them. Uh, there are also some objects that will appear throughout your adventures that can only be activated or destroyed using the power of the Dendrograda. Uh, maybe that's how I would activate that back there. Time to go! Sure. Dangerous within the winter zone. There are other perils within the winter zone apart from decay. Posters that have been corroded by this environment infect broths that grow in the area will attack characters within, causing decay to accumulate. <coughs> in addition, the tumor of wittery will exert disciples of decay to cope for the attack. These are monsters who have utterly fallen under the influence of the Wittery and have the protection of the Wittery against damage. Use Daedro or Denogranda to effectively destroy the shields guarding these monsters. Oh, okay, what that was. Turn for Wittery. The Wittery is not a fixed location, instead, it refers to areas that have been corroded by some sort of mysterious and obvious power. Can this appear randomly across the landscape? In these areas, characters will accumulate decay. The speed of this accumulation will differ depending on the wintery zone you are in. Depending on how much decay you have accumulated, all your party members will have their all elemental resistance, physical resistance, and max HP decreased. These stats will decrease more in accordance to the amount of decay accruing. Uh, if you remain within the winter zone after you fully accumulate DK, all your party members will fall. And you must use the power of the Negro Runner to clear the winter away. Only via this method can you destroy the winter branches uh, that spread this corrosive power. Only when all the winter branches within the winter zone are destroyed can the tower of the winter at the beating heart of the area be destroyed. Most winter zones can be destroyed this way. Damn, my nose is horrible. Uh, but within the winter zone, candles of life and flames of life 
uh, may appear and help to decrease the accumulation of decay. Prepare for the worst before entering the winter zone. Great work. That here now that all the branches have been cleared, we'll need to take care of the tumor. Now, destroy the tumors of the withering. We did it! Everything's returning to normal now! Yes, thanks to you two. We were able to quickly restore this area back to normal. Um, Tainari? You make it sound like we did well, but... Why does Paimon have the feeling you're worried about something? It's that obvious, huh? All right, it's like this. Recently, the rate at which the withering zone appears has been increasing. Even though we were able to quickly clear that withering zone, it won't be long before another one appears. If that simply meant more work for me, then that wouldn't be an issue. But it's far more severe than that. The withering is leaving lasting effects on the rainforest itself. For instance, even though we cleared out the withering zone, many of the plants that were affected will not recover. Well, what's your article doing about it? This presents a crisis for the ecosystem itself. Many plants in the rainforest are already in decline, directly impacting the wildlife that depends on those plants. And most disturbingly, as the appearances of withering zones have started to increase, Kale's case of Elazar has also become more serious. Huh? Well, why is that? I'm still not sure of the exact reason. However, I've received word from acquaintances at the Academia that similar cases are being reported for patients with other conditions. Is there no way to apparently get rid of the withering? No, none that we know of. The withering has been recorded in Sumeru for millennia. It's said that it originates from the depths of the world. By the way, have you heard of Soul before? I think I've heard it somewhere before, but I don't remember what it was. Ermansoul is a tree located deep beneath the surface. Although it isn't oh. like any tree we know in a biological sense, you can basically think of it as a large tree that grows downwards rather than upwards. I'm sure you've heard of ley lines, right? They're like the roots of Ermansol, spreading and extending from a massive cavern deep underground all the way up to the surface. Spreading and extending. A massive cavern sounds a lot like what I saw when I lost cautious in the cave. Ley lines continually absorb the memories of this world, which are then funneled into Ermansol allowing it to collect knowledge and wisdom from ancient times to present day. The Dendro Archon is known as the God of Wisdom because her consciousness is directly connected to it. It is also said that the Dendro Archon's power is a manifestation of Ermin's soul. So, should you have a solution for this problem? And as for the withering, its emergence is related to a disease that's affecting it. You may ever so sick. That's right. My ancestors learned of this from Greater Lord Ruka Devata's familiars a long time ago. But even those mysterious creatures did not know of a cure for Ermin's soul. I'm afraid we rangers will be battling the withering zones here for a long time until a cure is found. All right, that's enough on this topic for the time being. Now that we've taken care of things here, it's time for us to head back to Gondarvaville. Uh, hang on, there's... Oh, it's kind of high. Scatter! The 
areas that are close. Set off post right there. Uh, is that Sobero already? It seems harder. Oh, Tainari, you all made it back. How did it go? The withering zone you reported has been taken care of. No need to worry. Huh. Wait, is that? Oh. Oh no, Hapasia! What? Huh? What's wrong, Tainari? This Duskbird is Hapasia's designated courier for urgent news. You do remember her, don't you? She's the scholar oh. you and Paimon were following when you first arrived in Sumeru. Oh, her? How could we forget? Uh, so did something happen? Let me see what's written in the letter first. Hmm. So what's it say? And what's with that weird expression on your face? Uh, just let Paimon read it. Huh? Uh, all Paimon sees are three squiggly lines. Yes, allow me to explain. After we brought you from Hapasia's cave to Gondarvaville, Hapasia resumed her meditation. Uh, if I wage check on her, she'll just be unresponsive. She must have just finished. It's been nearly three days since she's had anything to eat, and it appears she's forgotten to prepare some rations. This letter is her asking us for help. We need to go. I like this bird. Looks nice. What? You mean she's been sitting there for three days? Hey, wait, how did you know all that from just a few lines on the paper? Well, obviously because this has happened before. Last time she drew five lines, and by the time we found her... <clears throat> well, I'd prefer not to remember that. Needless to say, hapasia has been through worse, but we should still get to her as quickly as possible. I've got some emergency rations set aside for times like these. Paimon, Traveler, could you two bring these to her? Sure. Wait, do you nothing? want us to bring her the rations? Uh, but will the Traveler be okay if her cave is still filled with that funny incense? Let's find out. Here, Traveler, take a smell and see. So, how do you feel? Uh, it's a light and freshy fragrance. Huh? Really? You're not feeling even a little drowsy? But, wait, how'd you know that he'd be okay this time, Tainari? Back when we were clearing the Withering Zone, I observed that he could adeptly manipulate the Dendro element. I knew then that he would be fine. Well, I could have avoided it if I wanted to. Oh no, but I would need to use Dendro Grana, though, that's... That could be what he's talking about. And if I may ask, when I was telling you two about Ermin Soul's ley lines, was what I described similar at all to what you saw while you were unconscious? But I saw her hallucinations, were they? That's correct. Those weren't hallucinations at all. Though I don't intend to apologize for deceiving you. Because what you saw is of significant importance. Not just for the nation of Sumeru, but the entire world of Tavat. 
My forefathers were shown much favor by greater Lord Ruka Devata. We took an oath to protect this nation together with her. Now that that duty has fallen to me, it was part of my responsibilities to ascertain whether you could be entrusted with the fate of Sumeru. Now, after seeing you in action with my own eyes, you have earned my confidence, and I no longer feel the need to hide any secrets from you. So, what exactly was it I saw? When you passed out, your consciousness had connected directly with Soul. What you witnessed were actually real memories contained within Ermin's soul itself. I could try to tell you more, but it would be better if you went to ask Hapasia instead. Her focus on meditation and use of spirit borneal are aimed at establishing a connection with Ermin's soul, just as you did. Ah, uh, that sounds nice and all, but will she really help us? Seriously, she completely ignored us the last time we tried talking to her. That was because when you ran into her, she was in a special phase of her training. During that time, she must avoid communicating with others. Uh, how do we get help when we pass up? Oh, Please, yeah. wait here for a moment. So much silence. Here, take these. It's a meal I packed for Hypatia, as well as some other ingredients. I'm sure it'll come in handy. Also, here's a letter that I would like you to give to her. Just show it to her and she'll answer any questions you may have. Thank you. No. I should be the one thanking you. You've both been a great help these last few days. Oh. Anyway. Please take good care of a pick. I'll go prepare Kale's medicine now. Using the lunar lotuses while they're still fresh will significantly boost their effectiveness. Rest assured, Kale will recover quickly as long as she has her medicine. Damn. I... I shut my balls up. Can I read it? Oh. So the letter that explains your identity and situation after coming to Somero and request that Hypatia help clear up your doubts. Time to go! <laughs> that I saw before. Great, everything is fine just as usual. Nothing suspicious. That's suspicious, just say. Hello, do you need any help? Uh, you look strongly energetic. I don't think you do. Uh, then enjoy the rainforest. The way of life the rainforest may be quite primitive. But you won't find any place that is cleaner and more comfortable than here. I often volunteer to change shifts with my colleagues. Just wander the forest a little longer. Oh, of course, I still carry out my duties seriously if something really does happen. Uh, is there any Pedro Prado around? Oh, oh, can you maybe I use that? No. If I had left you from here, or you are I'm a researcher, oh, you dress a bit differently. Conducting observations of a Vidya Forest Ecology, and that is my bodyguard. We are not suspicious people, so please don't be too worried about us. The winter is to be spraying lately. But there hasn't been much of a change in a village forest ecology. I guess the forest rangers have been working really hard. But the rainforest, if you know Sobero, you know that this is just the easternmost area of it. If you pass caravan 
rebut and go further west, you will find yourself before an endless desert. Endless. Endless. Uh. It said that a very, very long time ago, somewhere was a paradise covered in green, and the desert is the result of the disaster. Uh, but the wintery, the wintery is the result of contamination. If its source can be eradicated, so kill the tree, uh, then it will never end. But the contamination of Irmiso is not so easily resolved, is it? We can only trouble the Force Rangers until a fundamental solution is found. Hey, that's actually pretty storage. When can I leave this soggy place behind? What the? Bolt's going to grow on my head if this goes on. Bolt? No kidding. Even Sage can grow mushrooms if it's surrounded by this damn sticky air every day. I just want to finish this. Get my payment and go sunbathing in the desert. <laughs> About the desert? Oh, it didn't mean that I actually planned to return to that lousy desert. Oh, so he is from the desert. I mean, our village on the desert border. I heard from a village, the village elders that our village used to be part of the Scarlet King Citadels. Citadel, how basic. Who uh, cares about this king? If you think about it, our village may be the, the, in the desert, but life is pretty nice there. You don't have to endure wet weather, and you can go shopping at Caravan Ribatu. You probably won't make much money there, but you'll find everything else in that place pretty neat. Okay. Oh, carriage. Oh. Was the south sounds like it's a pro seven cave. Uh, it's a page. Is she okay? Oh, horrors. Famish, she so she saw how has more energy than I expected. There's no way we can get her to eat in her current condition. Uh, let's try finding some water first. Huh? Wait, why does it look super foggy outside all of a sudden? Uh, anyway, let's go look around. Look around? There's water just outside. Oh, it's stupid. Huh? How things out here end up looking like this? What happened? And where are we? Well, 
back spiral, there must be a logical explanation for all this. Really? Oh, maybe you're right. Let's go investigate the area. But should we have a shared hallucination? Uh, I'm not on the map. Wow! This place is huge! Paimon knew there's something off about that cave. Uh, let's think of a way to get over there and have a closer look. Who knows? Maybe we'll find a lead of some kind. Oh, another reaction. Uh, bloom. When creatures are affected by Hydro and Dendro, the Bloom reaction will be triggered, creating Dendro cores. Only a certain number of dendro cores can exist at the same time. If new ones are created once this limit is reached, or if the duration of the existing dendro cores ends, the pre-existing dendro cores will explode daily area of effect dendro damage. Uh, when dendro cores come into contact with pyro, they will trigger version. Uh, causing even greater air effect dendro damage. Uh, when it spiral, should it be a stronger burning reaction? Uh, when dendro comes in contact with Electro, they will trigger Hyperbloom and transform into homing sprawling shots. Uh, fungus. A monster with basic intelligence that evolved from spores. Uh, when first hit by electro or pyro attack, it will enter either an activated or scorched state based on the elemental type, attack type used. Defeat this transform fungus to obtain different types of rewards. Oh, interesting. <laughs> Wind Strider! Oh, but they dropped us in here. Okay, didn't we just found water for her? Uh, bouncy mushrooms in the base. Uh, so, only in the base. You'll sometimes find bouncy mushrooms of this sort in some else the base. The reason for which these mushrooms are not one of the three Lakshana creatures 
are unknown, but must be quite fascinating indeed. Time to go. Fallen leaves adorn my no- I'll settle this! Oh! Oh, they died. I'll go to the other thing. Oh, no, 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 stop, 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 stop! Where are they taking me? Damn, why? Why can't I cancel that? Primeval Rosin in the Banks. You sometimes find Primeval Rosin and sealed paths that correspond to them within domains in Sumeru. Collect three Primeval Rosins within this domain to unlock the corresponding path. It's always three. Should get there. Ah, oh, okay. I didn't notice that. Follow the wind. Time to go. Time to go. Well, how exactly did we get it? Time to go. This domain? Time to go. That here. How do I open that? Use it. Uh. Propagate. Spring forth. Time to go.
What? What happened? Oh, I lost that thing. Oh. So that it does zoom a like. Follow the wind. Oh, come on, can I use that? Yeah. supposed to do that Oh damn, I passed through. It's not that big. Are affected by electro and dendro, quick and will occur. 
uh, which render them quickened. Uh, when quickened creatures are affected by Electro or Dendro attacks, they aggravate or spread reactions will occur respectively, causing them to take additional damage. Uh, okay. Clouds hide. The birds propagate. Stand with me. Come back. To wind strike. The end is nigh. Our bond is strong. The end will come. Get from me. Huh? Why can't we beat this guy? Oh, Paimon doesn't get it! We faced others like him before! What's wrong this time? Traveler, though you may have managed to avert countless crises before, your good fortune was bound to end sooner or later. It's time you realize how weak and powerless you really are! Uh, my turn is not here. I still must find my sister. Your sister? <laughs> oh, pitiful traveler. Are you really so ignorant? Or are you just living in complete denial? I guess both so far. Her Highness has long since forsaken you. Your meager existence in her eyes is that of an annoying bug, only to be stepped upon. The bonds of love and family which drive you to find your sibling are utterly gone. Your journey is meaningless. But don't you fret now. Today will be your last. Now die. Uh. What was all that just now? Strange, feels like it was just dreaming for a moment there, but I can remember what I saw. So, all those items I got, those chests I opened. Hmm, what do we do? <laughs> we haven't seen Hapatia anywhere out here. Oh, there she is! Quick, let's see how she's doing. Ah, oh, so sweet. Ah, uh, so, mm. the Korok. Me. Well, the good news is that she's still conscious. Hey, why'd you drop her food on the floor like that? Uh, sorry, I kind of zoomed out for a second there. Uh, are you okay? That's really not like you. Anyways, <coughs> we can talk about this later. We better make sure she's alright first. Wait a sec. Look at all this fruit lying around her. We can put that to good use. Is it she eating already? Give me the same question for a pie to some uh, watery fruit juice. Who is there? Uh. Tainari, is that you? Uh. Huh? It's okay. You can relax, Hapatia. Tainari sent us here to bring you some food and water. Here, we have a letter that he asked us to give you. You gave Hapatia the letter from Tainari. Well? I see. So, you're friends of Tainari. <coughs> I apologize for all the trouble I've caused you. 
I'm grateful that you came so quickly to save me. You even brought all this fruit. Uh, well, actually, we didn't bring the fruit. It was already here when we arrived. We were kind of wondering about that, actually. When we found you here, there was all this fruit lying around and even some juice dripping from your lips. Uh, how did you end up like this anyway? Oh, really? Hmm, I seem to understand now. All the fruit was likely from my, uh, neighbor. Must have come by and saw me like this. Your neighbor? You mean there's someone else living nearby? <laughs> Is it a little round creature? Kind of like a cabbage. Oh? So you're able to see them too? They are Koroks. Oh, okay. We tell hey page about Empire War, everything that happened after entering the cave. Wait! Hold on a second, Traveler! You say that before we arrived, you saw some mysterious creature and suddenly had a strange dream? Isn't that a little too crazy to believe? Who's asking you? No, I actually do believe what the Traveler is saying. I myself had a similar experience once before and ended up scaring my timid little neighbor here. You needn't worry. They mean you no harm. They only dragged you into the dream because they hoped to buy themselves a little time in order to scurry away. So, Hypatia, just what kind of creature is your neighbor exactly? I'm not sure what it's called, to be honest. But I do know that they have some sort of deeper connection with the Dendro Archon. Shouldn't in a lane of researchers this kind of creature be a bit more well known for you to know? I know this because the first names. time I saw them was also the exact day my consciousness was able to form a connection with Ermin's soul. Even after I opened my eyes and stopped meditating, my heart was still pounding and my mind was racing with all the knowledge that I had touched. And at that very moment, I suddenly noticed a small figure at the opening of the cave. In my curiosity, I began to walk over to the creature. They must have already been used to me living in the cave, because they didn't seem to mind me approaching them. They just kept doing whatever they were up to. It wasn't until I crouched down next to them that they suddenly realized that I could see them. Oh. Oh! And then? And then I had a dream. By the time I came to, they were nowhere to be seen. I was convinced they'd never show up again. But sure enough, I saw them nearby a few days later. And they weren't alone. I feel like they aren't as afraid of me as the first time I approached them, but I never would have expected them to save me. What a fascinating creatures. Yes, no doubt about that. By the way, Tainari mentioned in his letter that you had questions for me regarding Ermansoul. <laughs> Sorry about that. Sounds like just drinking juice still isn't quite enough for my stomach. Well, if somebody hadn't dropped the food earlier... <sighs> anyway, looks like we'll need to prepare something ourselves. Besides, Paimon's getting hungry too. Well, Let's eat first and talk about Ermansoul later. We have most old foods in our pockets. Alright, we're up, Traveler. Today's menu will feature sweet madame and a red veggie soup. You'll love them, Apasia. They're our specialties after all. Mmm, sounds good. I've never tried any dishes from other nations before. I certainly look forward to it. It's been so long since I've had a decent meal, too. To be honest, the last time had to be when Tainari came to visit. <laughs> uh, so, uh, based on the star, I don't have a ready-made sweet madame on my pocket, but I do have raw bird from elsewhere in my pocket because I haven't seen many killable birds around here. No, they're probably birds, I just didn't pay much attention. 
Oh, I can't get those. Do I have to make some food? Can I just give it to her? Are you already finished cooking? Mmm, smells delectable. Okay. I'm truly thankful whenever I can enjoy a proper meal like this. Uh, cooking really isn't my forte. Uh, uh, no, I have to make cook for her. Uh. I don't have fire here. Make lunch. Ah! You cook up some dishes over the fire. All done! Let's use the empty box that Tainari gave us since we already watched it. Oh, it smells amazing! And the box is a nice touch too! Let's go serve this up and start eating with Hapasia! Uh, so I have, uh, have specifically, specifically prepared for Heipeja the box on the street, Madame and Radish Veg Soup. Uh, you hope Heipeja will like it. Are you already finished cooking? <coughs> Damn. Are you already finished? After delicious meal together, you tell Hypatia about connecting with him. Even so... though everything you mentioned was in Tainari's letter, it's still hard to believe you were able to connect with Ermin's soul immediately after smelling spirit born eel for the first time. Yeah, I'm just better than you. It took me nearly three years before I could do so. And everyone at the Academia even lauded me as a genius. So, I'm a upper genius. You should know that some researchers spent their entire lives without ever successfully connecting with Ermin's soul as you have. I'm just better than them. So why does this incense allow people to connect to Ermin's soul? The ingredients used to make spirit born ale primarily consist of plants created by Greater Lord Ruka Devata. These special ingredients are conducive to heightening our senses to the Dendro Archon's power. Uh, well, if the Ermin's soul is connected to the ley line, shouldn't we just use those ley line flowers with rewards to make tea or something? Since the root of the Dendro Archon's power lies within Ermin's soul, we can occasionally tap into her powers to peer into the depths of the earth. Yeah, sorry, I lost me there. That's all right. I'm sure you'll come to a clearer understanding as you remain in Sumeru. Hmm, makes sense. But Paimon's got a question. Why was he sensitive to the smell of those plants for such a long time? That was primarily due to his body's unique constitution. Stimulated by the incense, he could perceive the Dendro Archon's power and experience the sensory overload, hence the adverse reactions. Taking in any scent similar to the ingredients of spirit born ale would cause adverse effects. Not to worry, though. It appears you've already fully recovered. Technically, your body should still be sensitive to the powers of the Dendro Archon. But unless you're using intentional meditation techniques, the scent of spirit born ale should no longer trigger such reactions. Whew. Well, that's a relief. I must admit, I am quite envious of your abilities. Even if it meant suffering from pounding headaches for the rest of my life, I'd consider it worthwhile so long as I could connect with Ermin Soul at will. Whoa, you're really serious about this whole thing, aren't you? <laughs> I am a researcher, after all. As a member of the Ritawes Darshan at the Academia, my main area of research is the stars and their connection to the fate of living beings. But there is still so much we don't know, especially regarding the mysteries that lie in the starry skies. Uh, it doesn't seem true with what she was doing, her specialty. Which is why I must turn to the all-knowing Ermansoul for answers. Uh. If only my perception wasn't so limited. Unfortunately, I cannot guarantee that my every attempt to attune with Ermansoul will be successful. Or that doing so will leave my consciousness intact. I am currently in the stage of training known as Satyavada Life. 
Many researchers in Sumeru have lost their minds while seeking to attune with Ermansul during this stage. Uh, it doesn't seem worth it. Sages have said that Ermansul contains divine knowledge, and touching such knowledge without the proper preparations and abilities will only lead to one's mind caving in on itself. Then you don't even have a vision. That's why we meditate alone. We need to ensure that our minds will be calm while minimizing the possibility of involving anyone else. Uh, should you have somebody to help nearby at least? Whoa! So knowledge from Ermansoul can be super dangerous! Aren't you afraid of the risks, Hapeja? Of course I do. Especially during nights that are pitch black with no moonlight and dead silent without even the sound of insects. However, I've been feeling better as of late. I don't get as scared anymore knowing that I have a little neighbor living nearby. I believe that being able to see them is a sort of blessing from the Dendro Archon. <laughs> but what's strangest of all is that they're clearly an envoy of the God of Wisdom herself. And they have the curious power to make people dream. What's so strange about that? It doesn't sound so out of place for a divine being, does it? Well, it's strange because nearly nobody in Sumeru can ever dream. Oh. There was a guy that said that she couldn't... Uh, she couldn't dream after she... Oh, is that true? Over. I don't... Yes, like well, to an extent. Uh -huh. Only children can dream in Sumeru. Adults, however, never do. The sages say that wisdom implies rationality, but that which occurs in dreams is often neither rational nor logical. Oh, it reminds me of the dream I saw from the Aranara. Uh, Aran... Was Aranara the name of the thing? Uh, it was big chaotic mess. Uh, yes, if one struggles with anxieties, those emotions could influence their dreams. The fact that the people of Sumeru do not have dreams is seen as a blessing by the sages. They believe that Greater Lord Ruka Devata, the God of Wisdom, is keeping us away from the foolish delusions you encounter in your sleep. I was born into a family of scholars in Sumeru City. Ever since I was a child, my parents would always tell me that I'll know I've grown up once I stop dreaming. Uh, okay, Arnara is apparently those things, yes. But I don't think they said the name so far. I studied hard, enrolled as a student in the academia, and went on to become a researcher. <sighs> sure enough, I never dreamed again. But then, on the day I scared the little Aranara, I suddenly saw a dream again. Why were they calling them that all of a sudden? She said she didn't know what they were. She didn't give us a name. It was incredible. Though I don't exactly remember what I saw, I clearly recall the feeling. I suddenly felt like I was a child again. I never noticed the burning pot it has bubbling water. Back then, I was foolish and ignorant as any youth would be, but I was free of fear. Maybe dreaming isn't as bad as we've made it out to be. <clears throat> uh, just be sure not to speak of this if you travel to Sumeru City. They'll look at you as if you've lost your mind. So, do you have any thoughts about the things he saw when he connected with Ermansul? Sorry. I'm afraid I don't have any answers as of now. All I can say is that what you saw is a memory contained within Ermansoul itself. Hmm. World, forget me. What could that possibly mean? Uh, if only I could ascend past Satyavada life and begin Paripurna life. I might have some more answers for you. Ah, uh, if you two are ever in the area again... Please be sure to come and see me. Thanks. We wish you luck in your endeavors. There's no need to be thanking me. You two are my saviors. 
Besides, I'm already looking forward to tasting some more of your cooking. <laughs> Pay attention to shutting before setting down for a good night's rest. Now that we know Hapasia is alright and had the chance to ask her some questions, Paimon thinks it's about time to head back to Gondarvaville. Heading out, I see? If there's anything else you'd ever like to ask about, you know where to find me. Butter dreams? Even though that little neighbor of mine was able to induce a state of dreaming, I doubt they were able to control the actual contents of the dream. The end of your dream seemed quite terrifying. Perhaps there's something that's troubling you deep inside? Not to worry, though. I'm sure you'll be able to handle whatever comes your way in the real world. As someone from Sumeru who cannot dream, I needn't ever worry about nightmares. But lately, I've started to feel that I'm somehow missing something without dreams. <laughs> it's a little hard to explain. Heading out, I see? If there's anything else you'd... Sumeru researchers use spirit Bornail to assist them in connecting with Ermansoul to extract knowledge from it. Though the process can be risky, we believe that the knowledge gained is worth it. Unfortunately, I cannot help you understand your dream. At least not yet. I'm still learning how to attune to the depths of Ermansoul myself. I hope that I'll be able to ascend past Satyavada life and gain deeper insights. Well, I don't know much about anything, but this talk sounds a bit like Buddhism, doesn't it? Heading out, I see? If there's anything else you'd ever like to ask about, you know where to find me. I've heard local children here in the rainforest speaking of fairy-like creatures. But I'm from Sumeru City, and have never heard of such things when I was a child. Perhaps this is because I had a very strict upbringing. My parents would seldom allow me to play with other children. I doubt they'd ever believe me if I told them about my little neighbor out here. And speaking of my little neighbor... I think they can somehow sense when Tainari is coming to visit me. Uh, go take a picture of it. What would be this point in the picture? I've noticed on several occasions that as they're playing under the trees, they'll suddenly tense up and scamper away for no apparent reason. Shortly after they do this, Tainari always shows up here. Hmm, perhaps I should ask Tainari about this the next time I see him. Heading out, I see? If there's a take care, do remember to come visit any time you're in the area. I would be happy to chat with you. Uh, uh, I'll check back right here. Oh, and that is nothing. Shut up for Roka Divine Mushrooms. Uh, Roka Divine? Uh, yes, those huge mushrooms on the trees. Everyone's seen that. Huge mushrooms on the trees. Uh, uh, they're called Roka Shava Mushrooms. Uh, if you say so, it doesn't make a difference to me. It's still some divine thingy I, might sell, I can sell. Sell? Yeah, don't you know? These huge mushrooms can grow in the rainforest, can be sold for quite a bit in the city. Uh, seems like the academia is always in need for a huge amount of these great mushrooms, so they probably wouldn't mind a nobody like me making a little money, right? Anyway, I plan my plan to resell, I mean, my plan to sell these mushrooms is perfect, but there's just one problem the withering. How strong must my desire to sell mushrooms be in order to get a vision? 
Dealing with the withering will be a piece of cake once I have a vision. Yeah, I like some more more, more lore on, on visions, so it's true or fair. Think about it, Tainari. Refusing to join is tantamount to burying your head in the sand. I understand that you're a forest watcher and that it's your duty to combat the effects of withering zones, but isn't it evident that such work is not a lasting solution to the problem? As Sage Kage clearly stated, your presence and guidance in Sumeru City is pivotal in finding a cure for Ermansul. How could you possibly refuse? Keep your emotions in check, Gulam. Let's at least listen to Tainari's reason for declining. We're here to invite him to the Academia, not to cause a scene. That's a nice mustache. Sage Kaje, I am truly honored that you came here in person, but I'm afraid I must still decline your invitation. I am merely a forest watcher. How could the great minds of the Harabatat have any need of someone like me? <laughs> well, it turns out that your refusal letter had some implications on your master's reputation. He is a renowned sage of the Immorta, after all. So now I've come here in his stead. I see. Huh. And I figured that given his temper, he would come here and berate me personally. Tainari, your master is an integral part of this effort. And now he requires your assistance. And what exactly does my master need of me, Sage Kaje? You'll know, once you've arrived in Sumero City, that is. And how long will I be required to stay? Um, there's no definite answer as of now. Do you mean to tell me that despite coming all the way here to Kandarvaville, you still can't answer the questions I laid out in the letter to my master? If that's the case, then I'm afraid I cannot give you a definite answer either. Tainari, but you... Ah, uh, so be it. Come, Gulam, we're leaving. Nobody minds the floating child. Uh, Tainari, what was that all about? <coughs> it's nothing. Some people from the academia wanted me to go to Sumeru City to assist them with a project. But I had to refuse on account of all my responsibilities here. But all that can wait. How did things go with Hapasia? It was quite the eventful trip. But the main thing is that she's safe and sound. She answered a bunch of questions for us, too. Very good. Now that the Traveler has made a full recovery, there shouldn't be any reason for you to tarry here longer. I assume you will be heading to Sumeru City, correct? That's right! We want to meet Lesser Lord Kusanali and ask her for advice! Um, do you have any idea on how we can find her? I thought they were going to ask about Saria, but no, they, they don't care about her anymore. Sorry. I'm afraid I don't have any advice for you there. Well... Do you at least know anyone we can try asking in Sumeru City? Hmm, let me think. My trips to Sumeru City have been fairly short, and most of my acquaintances are researchers. How about this? I'll write you a letter of introduction that you can give to a researcher I know. He's from the Amorta Darshan and is adept at gathering information. Asking him might prove worthwhile. Also, when you enter Sumeru City, you'll probably end up receiving something like this item here. I'm not sure if it will ever come in handy for you, but maybe you can give it a try. Oh? What is it? It's called an Akasha Terminal. It's a tool produced by the Academia that utilizes the legacy of Greater Lord Ruka Devata. Some say that this very item is the basis of Sumeru's reputation as the City of Wisdom. 
Needless to say, this device and its usage fall under the academia's expertise. So I'll leave it to them to show you how to use it. Great! Next up, Sumeru City! Uh, oh, but wait, before that... We need to say goodbye to Kali. That's right! Tainari, we have something important to say to Kali before we leave. Is she doing better now? Yes, she's doing much better. After being confined to her bed all this time, I thought a little walk would do her some good. Last I saw her, she was taking the path towards the North Crossing. She knew you two would be leaving soon, so she must have wanted to see you off. Thanks, Tainari. All right, let's go! Farewell, and good luck to you both. Kale is waiting at the northmost crossing of Gundarvaville. You should be able to find her there. About Kale? Don't you worry about Kale. I'll look after her. I'll find a way to understand the relationship between the withering and her disease. Kale is waiting at the northmost crossing of Gundarvaville. Academia? It seems there's a major project underway at the Academia, and <coughs> my master has also joined the effort. Who's her master? But I can't afford to leave Gundarvaville now. Things are not going well here in the rainforest, and Kale needs someone to watch over her. Besides, I was never one for all the pomp and circumstance of life at the Academia. Given that my master hasn't come to give me an earful personally, tells me that my presence is not as sorely needed as they make it out to be. In fact, the letter he sent to me was uncharacteristically polite. Kale is waiting at the northmost crossing of Gundarvaville. You should be able to find See you. Farewell, Traveler. Um, um, is her name? Greetings, welcome to Gandara View. Life is comfortable here, right? It's much better than the city. Tell me about yourself. I'm the longest living resident here, one of them anyway. Perhaps only Keon, who's a few years my elder, can compete with me. It was a blessing in disguise, this carefree life in the forest. I was a researcher of the academia in my youth, but I was caught up in vicious academic competition. I didn't want to fight with those unethical researchers. I secluded life in the forest was way better. It was at here where I realized that knowledge, power and wealth are the source of our troubles. And that a simple life is the best life. Those youngsters from the academia should learn the Forest Ranger's way of life. Forest Rangers are civil servants too. You can't just group them up together because they are all civil servants. Let me explain. It's like how the Daniel Arco and the Great Lord are incomparable to each other. Do you get it now? No. Instead of asking me more questions, why don't you just stay a few days? I'm certain you'll get to know the simplicity and beauty of the first life. Okay, the other one. Do you not like the city? What's so great about the city? Its atmosphere always feels weird to me. No matter how tall buildings... How the tall... How the buildings... No matter how tall the buildings that are built leaning against the divine tree, or we seem to draw no closer to the gods. Otherwise, why would researchers who so desperately yearn for knowledge come to Avidya Forest to gain success? Not that I'm saying that knowledge is that good, but you should understand what I mean, right? Uh, okay, let's, let's just keep going. There's too many people here. There you go, that's the way to... Oh, I thought I would go through here. Uh. Ah! I've been waiting for you two! I, uh... Well, uh... <sighs> Never mind. I guess I should just wish you two a safe and successful journey. Thanks for waiting here just to see us off, Kale. We're headed to Sumeru City. Please take care of yourself. We'll be back to you soon, Kale. Don't worry about me. 
I can take care of myself. My condition won't be getting in the way of my duties. I want to be a forest ranger after all. It's up to me and the others to protect the rainforest here. And, uh... Well, uh... I'm sorry. I should have told you both about my condition when we first met. I just wanted you two to treat me as a normal friend. Not some girl that needs your sympathy. But I guess now I understand that the most important thing is for friends to be genuine with one another. There's no need to apologize, Kale. We should be thanking you for trusting us enough to be your friends and sharing your past with us. We're probably still gonna worry about your condition, but that's because we're friends and we care about you. Thank you. That means a lot. Uh, before you leave, I have something for you. Oh? What is it? The recipe. It's my recipe for pita pockets. I told you that I'd give you a copy, remember? My handwriting is a little, uh, messy, so please don't laugh. Yay! Thanks, Kale! Now we can eat those scrumptious little pitas whenever and wherever we like! I hope that whenever you eat them, you'll both remember your time here in Gandarvaville. Of course we will. Well then, I, Trainee Forest Ranger Kale, bid you both farewell. Please visit Gandarvaville again. The rangers will always be ready to assist you here. I hope you have a safe trip to Sumeru City and get to meet the Dendro Archon there. I'm much better now. I'll be back on patrol again starting tomorrow. Even though I'm not quite ready to help Master clear the withering zones yet, there are still plenty of other tasks for me to handle. Oh, and Traveler, if you ever see Amber again during your travels, Please don't mention my illness to her, okay? Uh, how does she live over there? It, it wasn't affected by her illness. Amber knows about my case of Elazar and what's happened in my past. Uh. But I haven't told her about my condition getting worse. I guess I just don't want her to worry about me. <laughs> if the need arises, I'll tell her about it myself. All right, we understand, Kale. I hope you have a safe trip to Sumeru City and get to meet the Dendro Archon there. Oh, with the puppets. <laughs> Kinda hard to believe that Master Tainari can cook, isn't it? His culinary techniques are very polished, but his taste is a little... Uh... Unusual? It's not really his fault, though. He just has a sensitive tongue and nose, so he prefers much lighter flavors. The last time I went a little too heavy on the spices for my pita pockets, Master started having a sneezing fit. Of course, I never heard the end of it after that. <laughs> I hope you have a safe trip to Sumeru City. See you later. Be sure to come back often. Even though Master didn't admit it, I'm sure he wants to see you again. Zaitun Peach. Uh, was. I guess I'm supposed to use bow and arrow. Uh, what? What was she saying? What were you saying? What were you saying? I don't know. You were saying that? Uh, let's go save them. Save what? What is she talking about? Uh, okay, let, let's get him. Even though let's go I gather no some samples. What he like. And he's still negative levels, basically. And I can't even ascend him. Uh, and I don't... Damn, there were no... Uh, I have any bow just to... Uh, I don't want to take one from the others. Does any bow fit him? Looks is more important. Then 
power. I guess this one kind of does. No, let's keep that part off. It doesn't matter. It's here just to shoot things. Uh, that was it? Yes. What's that? I didn't even test him, I don't know what it does. Smells like something good is inside. Keep up. I think maybe I did half of the quest I had here. Uh, am I still? I'm still doing that. Uh, that's too. It's just showing me here. Hmm. Uh, I guess I did kind of have the quest. Let's check this other quest here along the way. Because I don't think I'll be able to complete the story quest now. What's over there? Stay away, you nasty mushrooms. They look kind of different. Hey, the, that person over there seems to be in trouble. We've got to help. Do we? <laughs> Our bond is strong. Lightning terrified. Oh, she's fighting. Wind strider. I've never seen people fighting like that. Oh, you are a big help, thanks. As you can see, I'm a first watcher here. But uh, as for my name, it's Rada. I'm Ignis. We are from a very distant place. A Pimble's Pimble. Yes, this Pimble is. B, I see you are dressed like inhabitants of the forest, nor do you look like you are from the desert, but your clothes do have a good breathability and are suitable for traveling tomorrow. And since Rand is a forest watch, she should know Tainar, right? She should know Kali, right? Uh, Tainar is, well, she obviously know her boss, Kali. Uh, I haven't met that kid. Kali hasn't been very well. Ah, uh, so that would be a different thing here. Kali hasn't been very well, but she still works hard to protect the forest and eliminate the withering. Everyone's worried about her. But she's with a trustworthy senior, the one with fluffy ears, so she should be fine. Also, uh, he's not everybody's boss. Uh. He, he was bossing a bunch of people around. I thought he was. Uh, ears, are you talking about? It's Amy, right? It's Amy, right? Go, Barrel Buddy. Uh, there's no way it's Amy. Uh, anyway, a first watcher's duty is to protect the forest, assist travelers, and provide guidance. As the two of you might have noticed, lately the forest has been less than ideal. The fungi and beasts have been growing aggressive when there is the wintery. How about a scar both with you? By patrol road, we'll pass through Vibara village next. It's smooth sailing from there to either Port Ormus or Sumeru City. There are plenty of towns around, huh? Sure, let's go. Okay, but I have a few things to take care of. No, let's go. Okay, I'll keep both of you safe. Good, so I don't have to fight. 
Okay. Counter, storage. Uh, with this quest take long. This quest should take long with it. Since you're a first washer, must be very familiar with these woods, right? Which kind of slides. Uh, I've lived around here for years. I know every tree in the forest, really. But the lane's been coming. Come on, I was following her speech. There wasn't enough time to read it all. It's only been a few days and a new wintering zone has popped up already. So close to the main road, too. A wintering zone is again. We had a wait there before. I think it's time already disposed of a wintering zone before. Uh, I won't go into how dangerous it is then. Regardless, let me mark down the location and radius of effect for, for now. After I take you to Viva Ray, village, I'll go to uh, Gandharv uh, field and bring Tainer over to help. No need, rather just leave to us. No way, the region is always little, even veteran force watchers wouldn't approach it unless absolutely necessary. Yeah, I can manipulate an and it should somewhat stave off the winter effects. Uh, now that I think about it, you did show such a village when fanning off the fungi. But still, you shouldn't do that. We can't have you injured by the winter after coming all this way. Don't worry, Rana. Ignus has proven to be very reliable in the many encounters throughout our journey. Leave it to me, it's a piece of cake. I'll be right back. I don't like this winter zone. Let me do it, bitch. This winter zone is looking uh, weird at me. Alright, I understand. I'll wait here. If it's too much, Johanna, get out of there or call for help. And I'll be there. Uh, Alright, here. If it's too much, Johanna, get out of there or call for help. And I'll be there. Uh, no, that. I can just hit that if they don't hit that. Keep up. Then I decide I could just hit it. Damn, kill this thing. Then I said I could just hit that with Dangro instead of using a Dangro. Rather. Falling leaves adorn my dead with me. Uh, there was a good over here in the chimney. Let's say that. Uh, I'm impressive, right? Uh, you're amazing, incredibly amazing. Thanks. Take it down a notch. Oh, thanks. I'm getting too excited, man. Eh? Pardon me. Uh, Mr. Uh, <laughs> that should be so formal. It's okay to just pick up my Miss Rana. Let's drop the permits. You can say Rana. Uh, okay, so. I wonder if you guys are interested in joining us. I can vouch for you both. Uh, it would be great to get powerful, dedicated people like you know, the Pyro on our side. What do people do? With you guys, we can better control the spread of the wittering. Sure, you are probably not familiar with the woods, but that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Wait. Oh yeah, speaking of the forest pebbles, got a question. Do you remember the wondrous creatures we saw before? <coughs> wondrous creatures? Wondrous creatures? Which creatures? What are you talking about? Oh, that. Oh, they sound like the mythical Aradara, but uh, could it, uh, wasn't this like a side quest that I could just have avoided everything a beating her here? Small round play like fairies. They are the denizens of the woods and gardens of trees. But we generally dismiss them as just a tale. You sure those were just some shrewbores you saw? Trubors. 
Yeah, that is an animal you only see in the forest of Sumeru. They are round green beasts that live in the forest. Oh, look at that over there. Uh, we uh, we use the, them to find precious mushrooms. Really? I don't think they're same. Sounds delicious. Uh, so like I probably make a steal with mushrooms out of them. So Paimon doesn't think that's quite the same thing as what we saw. Anyway, in all my years in the woods, I've never seen an Aradar. However, you can ask the kids after you get to Vilmar village. They seem to be very into legends of the legend of the Aradar. Although children always try to hide their thoughts from adults, you can read their minds like a book, just like Pyro. Hey, that's because we're buddies and know each other very well. Uh, that said, you got moves. Where did you learn that? Well, we ran across a lot of things on our journey, so we got to learn how to fight. I see, it must have been hard. Where's the thing that I saw? There's the cat. Is that a thing I can fight or can I capture it? Oh no, I fight. Time to go. They didn't even attack me. Oh, free beach. Oh, I feel kind of bad for killing it just for that. Uh, I think I marked the other quest, not this one. Uh, where would this be? Ah, it's right here. Oh. <coughs> Aurelius. Oh, he dressed like the hundreds of monsters. So right here, let's say I should fight Frenta, blah blah blah. Oh, there's a fishy spot here. Uh, I'm not gonna fish now, but let me mark it. Time to go. <laughs> there, I got it. Forest Street Pro. Uh, can I grab those? I don't remember if I. I don't think they get fishes. I'm back, Grandpa Abadaya. Rather, you know the job of first watch is part, but you should come around more often. Yeah, I know. I patrol the forest so that those tiger cubs can head out in the woods safely. It was just a mess right now. There are tigers in Vera Village. Tiger cubs refer to. Uh, Yotan and his friends, by the way, your voice, I don't think I ever met you. Do we have visitors? He's also blind? Oh yes, Grandpa Abadaya, the, the Stuar. Mother gives Abadaya a brief rundown. I see, welcome to Vibara village, and thanks for helping run out. I play to form a life watch, gain Alfonso, Baron, and Aurelius to safeguard the perimeter as a group. That's a great plan, it's for the good of the children after all. Has something happened in Vibara village lately? Oh, could it be related to the round plate like creatures we saw before? What are you talking about? That sound like a cabbage from your description. Come on, that was quite a vague description. It's okay, we're just a little uneasy from some recent events. I've spent my whole life in Vibar Village and never saw anything like this. I won't bore you with my stories. Please watch over Anna. She's always been a troublemaker since she was little. 
she got lost in the woods was when she was seven or eight for a couple of days. Hey now, Grandpa Amadaya. Fine, fine. You'll be a good host now, brother. Don't let her guess down. For sure. My brother is getting old and his eyes are starting to fail. Ah, uh, that was why. Ah, uh, friends of brother, sorry about before. Let's apologize for my aging eyes. What the mysterious creatures we saw before? If we the round little plane like fairies, I think I saw them before. You just said you did? But wait, and what was it? Are they called Aradara? Aradara, probably. I might have heard stories before, but I'm too old to remember for sure. The forests of Sumeru are very big, teeming with countless wondrous creatures. But one will miss what they are destined to find. However, if I was destined, I shouldn't have forgotten about that either. So, where was it? Uh, uh, about Rada? Rada is a good kid. She works hard every day to keep this old man and the children of Yamar village safe. I wonder when she'll have time to start a family in Sarota. <coughs> You're back, brother. Uh, and he knew who's the upside you. And this kind of powerful traveler, how about you? Caught anything good? You know it? When you see the kids, tell them a fish, but I'm not sure yet, maybe later. Come on, that line stayed for quite a while, and the longer line that he sent vanished. Oh, so good for Fontaine. The back of Fonso, of Sea of Fonso. Who's there with you? Oh no, it's not from what they he kind of. They've never met Alfonso before. Allow me to introduce these two impressive travelers who have helped me a lot. And this here is Alfonso, just about the most dependable person in the Mara village. I flatter you, Rana. Anyway, nice to meet you too, and thanks for looking after Rana. You don't look like a local, Alfonso. Are you a traveler too? Uh, you're an express traveler indeed, so right through me at a glance. My cave has an apprentice from Fontaine, but I ended up staying because I really like it here. And it's been years since, Alfonso is practically one of us now. Anyway, how are the kids? They're not running around, are they? I mean, it's not a good time right now. They're in the village waiting for your return after Cavus came back. It, is it really okay to talk about that before our guests? Maybe we should talk about it later. Is it something important? We can come back later. Don't worry, they saved my life after all. Actually, you could have made it on your own. Hey, maybe. Uh, time is life to me. You saved me time, so you saved my life. Anyway, some of the children in Vimara village have done missing recently. Oh, there weren't much more than just an anyway. Uh, this is a very serious problem. Uh, I have not found the sheriff in Sumer City yet. Is there anything we can do to help? Anyway, just listen to me. The missing children always came back in a few days, though they don't remember what happened. I run up a search party every time. Sometimes we run into the into wild animals, sometimes a week to his own, other times outsiders out. Obviously too tough for us to handle. However, we could never find the kids since the woods are simply too big to search, even for Rana. Yeah, but in the end they would suddenly return when no one was paying attention. They couldn't recall anything when asked. Pebble does that too. Oh, so <laughs> it's normal for kids. Hey, quit your chill. So early, uh, chill the grass. They remember nothing at all. I'm not sure. Uh, they think they j 
I think they just don't want to tell us adults. Uh, even though I'm only a few years older than them. Are you? Still, that's pretty concerning. Right? So, I've been patrolling nearby recently, looking out for anything unusual. That's also why I just spoke to Amadaya about foreign live watch. I also asked Alfonso to keep an eye on the kids. Sorry. It's okay, I'd be more concerned if they actually stay put. I'm going to have a word with Ayuzafat later. It's his job to watch over Cavus, 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 and Sudabeth. You ought to take it easy for a while here, Rana. You are the only one who can get through to the kids. It's dangerous outside lately. Winter is old aside. You got the Fatui from Shazdaya with their armed mercenaries operating in the forest. It is so if something goes wrong, Fatui. I know I will be careful, but I should be the one. No, but I should be on the ball because it is dangerous. But even if you could deal with the wild animals, the Fatui are more than you can handle, right? Then? It sounds like Alfonso knows the Fatui very well. Oh, I learned about them from the travelers shuttle between Zomero City and Port Orgos. Orgos. It's Rana, Rana's back with Alfonso too. Alfonso was here already. And here comes trouble. Anyway, think it over, Rana. I pick it up I pick a bunch of starshoes for you, Rana. Yota, didn't you promise me there was water outside the village? The rich Bolan Raja will come and get you if you don't behave. Uh, I'm big now and I'm not scared of anything. Did you catch the Gator Raja this time, brother? Uh, I want you to hear some tales from the woods, brother. Well, I didn't see the Gator Raja this time, but I brought you a golden lion and a silver... Silver what though? Another lion? Weasel Thief. Why a Weasel Thief? Silver Dusk Bird. Silver Bass. Super Silver Spectre. Hold oh, on, Spectre is too much. Alright, stop picking on them. It is a power, my friends. Are we? We just met? Uh, Fireball's not going to get mad at kids. Regardless, you've been mad at kids before. Regardless, you know a lot of animals. That's right, Rana will tell us stories every time she's back. She told us about a huge, huge gator last time. And the Sumter Beast Lord. And the Rich Polan Raja that couldn't be caught. That's right, it will come and get you if you don't behave. Oh no. Run the village sure seems to get alone. Tony could always be like this. I hope the, ch hope the children can stay safe. Anyway, my friends here came from a place far, far away. Why don't we let them why don't we let them tell us start today? Sure, I guess. Sure, a trip to Somero has been a very painful one. Surely tells them about something about outside Somero. Uh, let's all go to Rana's house. Let's go there, is Spectre. Be careful going over the bridge. Don't fall into the river. Let's go. Uh, I think this will take a while, won't it? Oh, the kids from the house. Hey, Alfonso. Don't go to be there. I have a family here. If you stay, you and his friends will treat you like real brother. How do you know my name? Rana barely mentioned it. Anyway, hope you enjoy your time in Virari. What if I had avoided her and came all the way here? Would she have mentioned my name? Uh, but I don't know how long this fight should take anymore. I guess I'll stay in here. I'll probably play tomorrow. 
unless I go my nose even more clogged than today, then I might not. But there's a good chance I'll play tomorrow and then I'll continue this quest and then go to Sumeru City because I'm already in Sumeru region. <laughs> Uh, yeah, since I'm around here, maybe I should go all the way here before continuing north. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna end here.